Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder. And inshallah ta'ala, for today's short reminder, I would like to touch on the importance of Tawbah. So let us begin by defining what Tawbah is. At Tawbah is an Arabic term which stands for the same meaning as Ar-Ruju' which means to turn back. In other words, Tawbah is to turn away from all those things that displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to turn towards those things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere repentance. But sadly, most of us today have various misconceptions about Tawbah. Just as how my beloved Shaykh Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah is reported to have said, أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْرِفُونَ قَدْرَ التَّوْبَةِ وَلَا حَقِيقَتَهَا That most of us have not completely understood the true reality or the true value of Tawbah. فَضْلًا عَنِ الْقِيَامِ بِهَا عِلْمًا وَعَمَلًا وَحَالًا Leave alone completely understanding it and leave alone bringing it into our lives. For some of us think that Tawbah is something reserved for the month of Ramadan or that Tawbah is something reserved for the sinners alone or that Tawbah is something that an individual has to resort to only when he or she commits a sin. But nay, look at the words of our powerful maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He addresses us in the Noble Qur'an. Ya ayyuhal amanu tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. O oh, you who believe. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere repentance. Allahu Akbar. Look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses us. O oh, you who believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, O oh, you sinners. Or, O oh, you the ones who have transgressed the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nay, rather he addresses us believers to turn to him in sincere repentance. So if we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is upon us to make tawbah part and parcel of our day-to-day -day lives. So as a closing note, I wish to admonish myself firstly and then all of you all watching this video to turn to Allah the Almighty before it's too late. Before it's too late. For my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it is upon us to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the angel of death comes in front of us. And that is an impending reality. The angel of death, Malakul Maut, is going to come unannounced. None of us know when Malakul Maut is going to come visit us. The minute the angel of death comes in front of us, and if we were to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance at that time, our tawbah will not be accepted. Because there is a time frame. We, are, we have to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before Malakul Maut comes and stands in front of us. And also before the sun rises from the west. For currently, the doors of tawbah are wide open. Our beloved maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most forgiving, the most merciful, is just waiting for us to turn to him. He's waiting with a forgiveness equivalent to match our sins, Allahu Akbar. No sin is too great for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive. But it is upon us to take the initiative and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the sun rises from the west. For if the sun were to rise from the west, the doors of tawbah, which are currently wide open, will be slammed shut, Allahu Akbar. And even if we were to cry tears of blood, those doors of tawbah will never ever be opened ever again for anybody. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and may He accept our good deeds and may He grant us the opportunity to turn to Him, the most forgiving, the most merciful, before it's too late. Ameen. Wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network.
why is it that I should ask Allah for something right now and Allah has to do it for me right now? Who in the world are you? Are you thinking of God or something? You want something to happen? You want it to happen? You want it to happen? It doesn't happen? Allah Azawajal, He will choose His time. He's doing this for a reason. You make him dua every day. Some brothers, what they do, they make dua, they make dua, they make dua. And Allah, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah, He loves it or He accepts His dua of His servant as long as that servant hasn't become hasty. So the Sahaba said, Messenger of Allah, how is a person hasty? So here the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said what? He said, as long as the person carries on doing dua and he doesn't say this, he doesn't say, I made dua to Allah and Allah never accepted it. That's been hasty. You start saying, I made dua to Allah so many times and this dua got, never got accept, accepted because Allah Azawajal does three things for you in return of the dua that you just made. One of three things. One of three things He will do for you. Number one, either Allah will give to you what you just asked for. Number two, you didn't get what you asked for, but Allah will give you something in return of that. Something else in return. Oh, he will save, save you from an affliction. He'll save you from an affliction. You didn't even know. You made dua that, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, please, please. Oh Allah, I want this thing. And I want, I want this thing or this, this job. Oh Allah, I want this job. Oh Allah, I want this job. You're making that dua. Allah never gave you that job. For whatever other reasons as well. But what he did is, he saved you from another musibah somewhere else because of that dua. Or he gave you some other dua, other thing. It might not even be a job. job. It might be something else Allah gave you. And the third thing, the best of all things is, you never got anything at all in this dunya. You say, what? I made dua with my life, I never got anything in this dunya. What? On the day of judgment, some brothers will come and they will see right next to them. This is in hadith, hadith of Ahmad. The person will see right next to him, he will see mountains, mountains full of reward. Now this guy sees mountains full of reward and he, he thinks, nah man, I didn't even live that long to get these mountains full of reward. They can't be mine. And he's looking at his little piles next to him. So then long time passes by, no one comes to claim their mount is full of reward. And then the person says, Oh Allah, oh Allah, just a question about my son. So these mountain full of rewards, who are they for? Allah says, for you, my son. He says, for me. Allah, for me, for me. You know, the guy's thinking, how, how is it possible that I get so much reward? Allah says, my servant, my servant. You were in the dunya, while you were in the dunya, you used to make dua to me. I never accepted your dua. That dua you made, used to make to me every single day. Every day you used to make dua to me. I never accepted it. But what I did in return is I gave you reward. And I kept on giving you reward for the dua that you used to make to me. And today those duas are mountain full of reward. Those duas you made that you never got mountain full of reward. And he will say, Oh Allah, Oh Allah. He will say to Allah, what will he say? He's speaking on our behalf, guys. You understand that, yeah? Rasulullah can't tell your name, you can't say my name, you can't say your name, but some of us are in this situation. Say, oh Allah, in that case, why did you accept any of my du'as? In that case, oh Allah, why didn't you reject all of my du'as in the world? Reject all of them, so that I would get plenty more mountain fruits on the day of judgment. If only we understood what Allah is doing to us and what is beyond our faith. Donate now. Go to www dailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.